Let's be honest, compromise is no fun. Adult life might be built around the idea of give and take, but the little kid inside of us cries when he doesn't get exactly what he wants. Thankfully, Range Rover doesn't seem to care too much about compromise. Witness the 2017 Range Rover Sport SVR, a 550 horsepower SUV with off-road potential and looks suitable to show up to your next black tie affair. My inner child is so happy. How does it look? Especially in this red over black color scheme, the SVR treatment really suits the Range Rover Sport quite well. Wheels are huge and speak to the series performance vibe, while the black grille and accents allow the SUV to remain quite elegant. Subtle it is not, but then you don't buy one of the fastest SUVs in the world to be shy, do you? How's the storage? Objectively speaking, there is enough room in this well-tailored cargo area for whatever matched luggage or exotic hunting dogs you may require. But comparatively speaking, the Mercedes-Benz and Porsche competitors do have a little bit more room overall. There are a couple of very grippy cup holders under the sliding cover and a place for your phone in front of the gear lever. But overall, there's not a ton of room for your stuff in this leather-lined cabin. In the back, however, it is a pleasant surprise to find a little smartphone cubby behind the center console. Is it roomy? Today's Range Rovers in general afford a lot more space for big guys like me than older versions, and the Sport is no exception. Sure, the heavily bolstered racing seats aren't great if you're tall, but they hug you so tightly that it's hard to care. Space in back is fairly generous as well. Based on my size and seating position, I think that four six-footers would fit in here just fine. How does the interior feel? Now, I have always loved the Range Rover Sports cabin and the SVR does nothing to change that. I really like the combination of matte and shiny surfaces that set off all of the leather that's in here. I will say, however, though, that this red and black colorway is probably a little bit more expressive than most typical luxury shoppers. Is it well equipped? Even though it doesn't look like it should ever get muddy, the SVR badge on this Range Rover doesn't preclude a long list of off-road tech. The vehicle features full-time four-wheel drive, of course, and Land Rover's Terrain Response 2 system with automatic settings for snowy, muddy, or sandy situations, as well as a dynamic setting for fast tarmac driving. Hill Descent Control and Hill Start Assist are also included, along with a wealth of other electronic aids to traction, stability, and roll. Cosmetically, this spec sheet includes 21-inch wheels, Oxford leather sport seats, and a glass roof. And there are optional upgrades on my tester, like a contrasting black roof, a towing package, and the 825-watt Meridian Premium audio system. How's the infotainment system? The latest tile-based version of the horribly named infotainment system InControl Touch Pro is a step up from the last version. The software's logic still makes it a little too hard to do simple things, and though some app support is offered, setup is far from easy. What's more, the system is not helped by a lack of support for Apple CarPlay or Android Auto, though we think both are on the way. Is it a good daily driver? Now the SVR doesn't really do anything to change the fact that the Range Rover Sport is a really good daily driver. You've got a nice high seating position as you'd expect in an SUV this size, great visibility forward and to the side, and overall it's just fairly easy to pilot. The ride is also a lot better than you might expect it to be considering the 21 inch wheels, so that's good too. Now, this is a little bit louder than both the standard uh, Range Rover Sport, of course, you're paying for that, right? It's the exhaust note, but also I'd say slightly louder than a lot of other luxury vehicles in this SUV class. Is it fun to drive? Uh, yeah, so there's really something to be said for the supercharged five liter, 550 horsepower, 502 pound-foot of torque V8. And I haven't even switched out of general mode yet. 
Driving fun is the only reason that you buy this variant of the Range Rover Sport. Let's face it, it's really expensive. You buy it for the power, you buy it for the ability to switch it over into dynamic mode, and actually get a lot better performance on a curvy road like this than you might expect from an SUV this size and this tall. But I would definitely say the thing that makes it the most fun to me is that sound. How's the fuel economy? My thought is that if you're at all concerned with fuel economy, don't buy a $100,000 550 horsepower SUV, okay? It's just gonna stress you out. But if you must know, the SVR's 14 miles per gallon city and 19 miles per gallon highway are about average for this class of super utility vehicles. The Mercedes AMG GLE 63 does slightly worse. The Porsche Cayenne Turbo slightly better, but all of them have a serious thirst for premium gasoline. How much is it? The Range Rover Sport SVR starts at $111,350, and ours is kitted out to $116,225 out the door. Competitors are all about six figures here, but the Cayenne Turbo costs a few thousand more to start, and the BMW X5M is the bargain of the group at just over a hundred grand. What are the negatives? Expensive, thirsty, and showy to look at, the SVR is not an SUV for most buyers. Realistically, unless you have a lead foot and a willing checkbook, you shouldn't show up at your Land Rover dealer looking for this model. Oh, and unless you absolutely have to have the legendary Range Rover off-roading ability, the Germans probably do have better options. Who should buy it? This SVR represents an abject lack of compromise in a vehicle that can thrill its driver both off-road and on like just about nothing else in the world. Rich adventure seekers should apply within.